Hi, today I would like to give quick and simple steps to connect to your inner voice and your inner kingdom. This world is huge, but the beginning entrance is very, very simple. And you can do that. Actually, you are already doing it. Your unconscious part is doing it when you're going into uh, dreams, when your, your being is going into other places. What we trying to do with this is to bring your consciousness to the fact that you are energy being first. So if you are trying to get connected to your inner voice and you never did that before and you feel insecure, I don't want to be spiritual or religious, but you would like to get to know yourself, think about it more in psychological uh, terms that you get to know who you are, not only your personality, but bigger than that. It starts with four steps. Very simple. The first one is the intention. When you are giving the intention to yourself and you say, I'm taking five minutes just to feel myself without all of the noise of the world. That decision is the beginning. It's the intention that you are consciously want to be connected to your inner kingdom and your inner voice, your intuition, your path, your real self. Let's not forget, it's the 99% of reality. We live in 1% and the 99% of reality is all of that unseen things, which stored in our brain and our heart and ooh, huge, huge. Okay, the first step is to have that intention. I want to get in contact with myself. Second one, it's a very simple, it looks obvious, but it's very important. So after you set your intention, you want to close your eyes just for these five minutes that you decided to get to know yourself. When you close your eyes and you enter the silent, you're given a signal to your brain that the focus to the outside and all of our senses is not necessary anymore. We go within. Closing the eyes is already preparing your brain to go to other places in the brain. So have intention and then we are going to close our eyes. The third thing, it's also a big subject, but just to start, is the breath. The breath can do many things. You can give birth with a breath, you can dive with a breath, you can bring yourself into states of total slower heart rhythm, heart. You can do many things with the breath. It's our connection to our power and being. But just for now, for these five minutes that you want to get connected to your inner self and to your inner voice and to your intuition, having the intention, closing your eyes, and then focusing on the breath and intentionally making it slow, becoming aware about what comes in and what comes out. There are many variations, one of the most popular one that will give you immediately connection to peace is the breath that's called the 478. It's four taking in, holding at seven, and releasing eight. Four, holding at seven, and eight. Just focusing your mind, doing this breath 10 times, changing the biochemical of your brain and therefore all of your intention goes into another place that gives immediately peace and starts to help you enter your inner kingdom. The fourth thing, which is a little bit more advanced, but I think it should be mentioned here, is the visualization. When you can see something in your mind eye, something simple. Let's say you close your eyes and I ask you to look at the beautiful chocolate cake with red rose in the middle. Just by watching it and looking at the glaze of the chocolate, the size of the rose, this is visualization and that tool is also a huge, powerful tool. All shamans create, heal, transform with the power of their visualization. This is where you go into the energy before it becomes into form, into physicality, and you change it, transform it, make it better consciously. So the power of visualization is huge. But just for now, for these five minutes, 
of coming in connection to your inner kingdom, your inner voice, your intuition, your real self, is to decide to do that. Practically, of course, taking five minutes to do that. Closing your eyes, slowing your breath, and visualizing this thing that you want. So let's just say that this five minutes, minutes of want to know yourself, you just want to visualize yourself when you were a child. And you use your visualization to see yourself empowered and shine as a child. Just this connection with yourself as a child. For this five minutes we said to connect to your inner voice is a little exercise that gives a lot of joy but also creates and moves some healing. If you didn't have a very good childhood, that would be even more interesting in that visualization to give to you, the child, what they need. See them for yourself, dressed beautifully, happy, shiny, excited, cared for, supported. So just five minutes of exercising, of coming in connection to yourself by having this intention and taking that five minutes to do that, closing your eyes and letting yourself go within, slowing the breath and visualize yourself when you were five, as you would have wanted, five years old, with all the health, happiness and support in the world. That alone can contribute a lot to your happiness. In advanced stages, any one of those tools can just expand and you can go and repair damages in your inner child from, from the past. You can go and connect to ancestors that can help you empower you to have more uh, success in your business. There are many things to do. It all starts with this voice, with your inner voice, your inner connection to the real big you and bring it into the little you, your personality, and make your life better. So I hope that helps. Don't forget, you want to live, to lead, to love like a happy goddessa with compassion and command of your life every day, every hour. And when you do that, you help us all make the world a happier place. And that's what we want. So thank you, and I'll see you next time.